All right, this is the final checkout video of this black uh, uh, ATA 71 that I actually promised in the uh, first video. And this is uh, of it uh, completely uh, restored. I finished this about a month ago, and uh, it was actually quite fun polishing this phone, actually, because knowing that black phones are like a very, you know, a very sleek color, uh, they tend to get dull after a lot of usage, and this one was pretty dull. And uh, I think it was a pretty satisfying one to actually polish, because when I was polishing the stuff, there was black stuff on the uh, on the cloth. So I think it I think it uh, was a lot of dirt uh, that had been, I don't know stuck on there for years. I did find a black cord for the phone. This actually came off of an, um, a, another German phone that was uh, damaged, a damaged uh, phone, and the cord was actually in pretty good shape. The re rest of the phone was uh, damaged, so uh, that's fine. And uh, yeah, there are some scratches uh, still. I couldn't get those out, but it's still very, very uh, shiny. It does have sort of a dullness to it still, but it's a lot better than it was before. And let me get, get a look at that right there. There's the dial. There is some dust on here because I always run the fan in this bedroom uh, pretty much all day. And, uh, yeah. There's the back. And I also, for the sticker here, to clean it, I, I put everything, all the plastics, in the sink filled with uh, warm water and dish, uh, dish soap. And I took the sticker off. And then when I took the phone out and, and polished everything, I glued it back on so I could get the base uh, cleaned up. It was very nasty on the inside, years of dust. But, uh... A dial has been oiled and adjusted as usual, and it's got its original uh, number card as well. It has never been filled out, it's been left uh, blank. And, uh, yeah. I always like these phones, it's kind of different, is that they, they keep the white plungers on uh, their color models. Unlike the German phones, like this orange one, for instance, they're black. And for the gray ones, they're that white color to match the trim. I don't think... No, the Dutch phones don't have that. I thought they did for some reason. I do have the phone hooked up right now, so I can do a dial and ring back on it. I'm going to actually call it time and temp number this time, since I don't have my uh, telephone analyzer up here. Here is the plug. I have uh, the alligator clips hooked up to it right now. And uh, it's got... Uh, long line cord as well and have it hooked up to this. I actually have a Dutch uh, plug attached to this extension cord here uh, because the four prong adapters have that, that uh, cord that has the RJ11 jack on the end and they always get, the, the clips always break off and I figured if I use this I could just plug one in instead of having to worry about a broken, having to fix the plug again it, or if it's slipping out when I'm using the phone but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's uh, pick up the phone. There should be some dial tone. And we'll call. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a long number. And mind you, this isn't a uh, time and temperature number for the areas either. This is somewhere in um, Missouri. Unfortunately, our time temperature number is out of service. It's no longer used. Good afternoon. For all of your insurance needs, it's Promort Brothers Insurance. Visit us on the internet at promortbros.com. Yeah, you get the point. And then I'm going to hang up the phone and we'll ring back.
and that is it. And hope you enjoyed this video. I will have more to come, especially on the green ATA-71 as well. That's coming up next. I am doing some final adjustments on the dial right now. And once I get that done and uh, reassembled, I will have the video up. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.